this is the one that you don't even dare dream about. You can work toward other goals. There's no way to work toward this goal. It's something that either happens or it don't. And I can't think of a bigger honor to be given to anybody who loves country music, any country music artist than this. <laughs> and to think that I will be represented in that same manner and on these same walls is a very humbling thought indeed. I had, well, what year was it, Doc? <laughs> it been about 15 years ago now, I think, that uh, I, he, Dr. Smith treated me for cancer. And uh, I have been cancer-free that whole time, so yes, it's very, very special to me. Very special. The Country Music Hall of Fame Museum came out and looked everything over, came up to my house and looked everything over and got what they wanted to make the exhibit, you know. So uh, we've looked at some, we've, quite a few memories been coming up here to last a little while, definitely. It's such an honor to, to send the invitations out and people write back or call back and say, yeah, we'll be glad to be there. That, is a, that holds a very special place in my heart. Well, there's a bunch of veterans that have lost limbs and lost parts of their body and lost years of their lives and have lost dreams that we owe something to. So what can we do for them? We can help them jumpstart their dream.